So this is the Tascam 244. I received it yesterday by mail. The man who sold it to me was uh, kind enough to uh, to package it in a in a nice case. So with all manuals, even the schematic diagram was included. So it was a nice deal. Uh, the the uh, in the ad uh, I could read that the the, the thing doesn't run. So uh, probably the the belt uh, the belt has been um, has been worn out or maybe uh, uh, vanished. I don't know. So uh, let's uh, I'll, uh, I'll I'll open it up. Um, as you can see, it's uh, it's a nice nice model. It has uh, real view meters. Um, this is the mixer section. Uh, it's uh, of course four channels. With panning, uh, monitoring uh, possibilities, even uh, a dual parametric EQ. One is going from 62 Hz to uh, 1.5K with a, a ring, and uh, there's another per channel, uh, there's another um, parametric EQ which goes from 1K to 8K. And then the mic preamp and a selector for imp for your input, which can be switched off or from mic uh, microphone or line or tape. Well, that's about it. It with this uh, thing, it should be possible to uh, to record four uh, four tracks simultaneously, which can be done by this switch. If you switch it to sync, you can either uh, record bus L to track 1 or 3 and bus R, which is for right, to bus 2 or 4. So you can, uh, you can record one channel at a time, two channels at a time or four channels at a time if you switch this thing. Well. Let's, op let's open this thing up and um, then we'll see what's, uh, what's going on inside. Okay, um, I will open this up in a minute. Um, before doing that I, uh, I, put, I put it on a nice, uh, nice soft blanket. So if I, uh, if I, flip, uh, if, if I flip the recorder uh, around then it will, uh, it will rest on its uh, pot meters. All these things so I want to be very careful that's why I put it on a on a nice nice cloth okay let's turn this thing around so first I removed uh, the, the screws which are here 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 on the side on the corners one in the middle and also on the other side and if you disassemble uh, a machine always uh, keep the the same screws apart and maybe you can even uh, put a little note on a on a paper where these screws should be uh, put when you reassemble the machine now all the screws have been removed so I can I can lift the the bottom part of the machine off. Well, this is what I thought. Uh, I think there should be um, maybe two, maybe three belts in this thing, but I don't see any of them. Um, for example, this wheel should be. There should be a belt around this wheel. There should be a belt around this this big flywheel. It's kind of heavy. Um, and as you can see, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit. You see all black. This is this is this is what what used to be the belt. So it has been. It's, it's, it's gotten really old. 
and dirty and sticky. Um, I think this this flywheel is uh, is connected to the capstan. And then there's a there's a little motor here. So excuse me. There's a little motor here on the bottom of this. There should be an axis and a pulley, and there should be also be an, uh, a belt, but I don't think there is any. And then this wheel should be moved by a belt. I think it should be connected to this, this little wheel. This, this pulley has also gotten dirty. So I think we'll have to clean this one and this one up before uh, before we uh, we do any any belt replacement or belt placement in this in this case see this wheel is there's pieces of a broken belt are on this little wheel I'm gonna shine with my my bulb, and also this wheel, which has a lot of dirty, greasy, worn-out pieces of worn-out belt on it. Also, there's a little there's a motor in the middle. I don't know if I can make this clear for the camera. There's a little little gear. Well, it's not even a gear, but I think it's a it's a grip. Some kind of grip, grippy axis. See the gold, the gold color. Well, as you can see, I I cleaned this big flywheel with some kind of alcohol. I don't know what it's what it's called in English, but this is called spiritus. We live in the Netherlands. I think it's. Uh, yeah, spirit, spiritus. I don't, I don't know. So I cleaned this uh, flywheel. Also, I cleaned this wheel. It's as you can see, it's it's not completely clean, but it's okay clean. Uh, on the top, there's 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 a little little black black residue, but in the the inside of the wheel is is pretty okay. Also, I uh, I put a little just plain uh, rubber band on the between the, the, this this wheel and and the little one over here just for testing purposes. Also, I cleaned this wheel. I'll uh, I'll have a few a full view. So this wheel, which was kind of hard, I couldn't take it take it from the from the chassis. So uh, all the all the cleaning had to be done like this. You see, there's a little little black, little of the black sticky residue. But uh, for now, I'll uh, I'm satisfied with the result. So I'll uh, the last thing is uh, for me to do is put a little uh, plain kind of a broad rubber band. It's also a little bigger than the other, not a little, it's, it's twice as big, I think, uh, between this thing and this thing. So I had to remove this screw, which I already done, and this little screw. Screw has been removed. Now I'm going to lift this this part up a little just enough so so I can get I can get the rubber band underneath it 
and then I'll uh, I'll screw it back on. So now you can see it took me a couple of minutes, but I was able to lift this thing up to get the rubber band underneath it, and now it's time to um, to screw screw these back on, and you can see I. I put the rubber band around this wheel so we should be good to go now let's see if it works well the view lights are, are lighting up open up the door put a tape in and play 